Okay, so, Saturday the 16th of October. It's the last day of drilling today, or it will be when I actually get drilling. As you can see, I'm out spraying right now. Just putting on some pre-emergent. First thing, because we had a shower of rain first thing this morning, so I'm just letting the ground dry off a little bit. And then I will get back to drilling. Um, I've only got 20 hectares left to drill, and then that is the awesome drilling done. I did best part of 60 hectares yesterday, so that's my best ever day, um, right there. I've never done that much in a day before, but I did start at about, I think I started drilling about half seven in the morning, so. That was over five fields, so it takes a bit of doing, especially when you've got to run back to the yard for seed. It's, um, yeah, it's a long day's drilling. Second to last field now. I'll show you, it's a bit muddy. Hence it's been left till last. This is a bit wet. It's only down in this bottom corner of the field, but it's wet. The rest is okay. She's a bit sticky. Uh, it's the right drill for it, really, for drilling ground like this. And the old Vadastad would just block up in seconds. I'll show you my old pumpkins. I think the pheasants have been pecking them. They're a bit of a funny colour, aren't they? Yeah, the pheasants have been pecking them. Have to come down here and harvest them. Come and take them home. Crikey. We're going to take a bit of carving. Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. There was nine here at one point. Oh dear. He doesn't look too good. It's a shame the pheasants have pecked them. It's still solid though. This is an old muck heap here. That's just rotted down. So I'm on the last field now. I'm at farm one. And uh, we're finishing up on winter barley. We wouldn't, we would normally uh, drill the winter barley first. Well, we did drill some winter barley first, didn't we? At farm two, but uh, yeah, the reason why we've left this winter barley until late is because the ground got so wet, basically. Well, we didn't want to drill before the wet spell because uh, black grass, we would have just ended up with loads of black grass in the winter barley because it's quite hard to control black grass in winter barley. Um, and then it got it, then in the wet spell, this ground did get really wet um, and it's taken the longest to dry out, basically. And uh, so yeah, that's why it's getting done last. But, and I've drilled about two, uh, 80 hectares, 200 acres of barley here at farm two, uh, farm one. Getting mixed up myself now. And that's it, it's gonna be, be uh, all finished by the end of this field. This is the first year in, well, it's the first year since 2018 that we've actually finished the autumn drilling. And, it's the first year for a long time that the whole farm is actually in crop because um, if, if the fields aren't in winter crop they've got stubble turnips in them so every every field on the farm or on the free farms has actually got a crop growing in it right now so last season these fields were spring wheat last harvest and uh, after the harvest Simon done a deep cultivation on these fields when it was really dry really good conditions um, done a deep cultivation and then when it was when it dried right out I rolled these fields with the, with the ring rollers just to break down any clods um, and get any any uh, seeds growing basically you can probably see down there there's some wheat volunteers and some black grass and uh, yeah and it's all chitted really well and now it's drying out and it's drilling nicely though. That's it, drilling's done. D-U-N done. Which I'm very happy about. It's actually been a week. A week today that I started on the week. So yeah, seven, eight days and I'm done. It's been a long week, a busy, very busy week. Sort of one of my busiest weeks of the year kind of thing. Um, Right, I'm going to go and park this in the shed. Ooh. Drive over a load of compost or bark or whatever it was. 
I'm gonna go park this in the shed and then go and jump on the sprayer for a few hours this evening. So we're not gonna roll these seed beds. They're pretty fine and they're prone the soil is prone to capping. Um so yeah. But Simon is still putting on the Avidex, the pre emergent Avidex. He can just use the Avidex applicator on the front of the six one fifty R and put that on. But right right now I'm gonna park this tractor in the shed and go and jump on the bateman and do some spraying for a few hours this evening. Saturday evening, I'm back in the sprayer. I'm back where I started the day. And what I'm, oh, can you see these dark patches, look, in the soil? There's one there, big one there, and then there's another one right over there. Probably can't see through the dirty window. But I think that uh, many years ago, this field was probably woodland. And then when they bulldozed the wood, uh, that was where they must have had bonfires. Two big old massive bonfires. But um, yeah, what I'm spraying, I'm cruising along at about 14k. Water rate is at 100 litres per hectare. And we are putting on uh, some Stomp Aqua and some Liberator. So yeah, the sun's just gone down. This is the winter barley ground at, at Farm One. Um, with the intentions of putting it into rape next summer. Direct drilled with the Amazon Sears. Yeah, perfect spraying conditions right now. There's not a breath of wind out there. All right, Sunday morning I'm out spraying and they got the weather forecast wrong. It was supposed to be a nice day today. I'm bloody glad I got the drilling finished because it's actually raining. Only very lightly. It's not running down the windscreen. Well, it's just started running down the windscreen. I expect a lot of people that didn't get their drilling finished yesterday will be pretty cheesed off because it looks like to the north it's a lot worse. We're just on the edge of it here. We're just on the edge of the rain looking at the radar. Just trying to turn on the headland. This is a tiny little field. This is probably well, this is a, probably our smallest field we've got. About two hectares. The old footpath in this field must get used quite a lot. You see, there, look, it's already been run down. It was um, only drilled this field the day before yesterday. It's all having a little sleep, look. We did come down here once with a metal detector and and uh, have a look to see what we could find on that footpath, but all we found was old pennies. No treasure. I don't know if you can see back there, there's Simon. He's got the Avidex applicator on the front. Not quite. I didn't quite get the camera out in time to show you. He's uh, putting on the granules. I've caught him up. This is the last field to uh, be sprayed. Yeah, so like I said, this is the last field to be sprayed. It's the last field I drilled, and that was the last one I'm spraying. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing something, doing something different this week or Monday week. I've been sat on my backside for the last eight days, driving up and down lots of fields, as you've seen. It's been a very busy week, I've done a lot of hours. And uh, yeah, now I've got some sort, lots of sorting out and tidying up to do on Monday. First thing I've got to do is sort out, God knows how many seed bags, just to get them all sorted out and ready for recycling. Um, I've got two drills that I've got to wash and put, them put away for the winter. I've got to turn on the headland right now. Lift the uh, boom up. Right, I'm done. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will maybe start a week on the farm video tomorrow on Monday. Try and get across the ditch. And uh, yeah, we'll make a bit longer video. I expect this has probably been a bit of a short video. But yeah, that's it. That's the last field done. We're all drilled up, all sprayed up. And still the agronomist gives me some more spraying recommendations, which probably won't be long. Right, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.